Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit more technical analysis on Bitcoin because I think you guys can tell what we're going to be discussing in today's video. As you guys know, we've been talking about bullish breakouts and bullish momentum building here over the last couple of days for Bitcoin. Ever since Bitcoin started breaking bullish out of this pattern down here, this consolidation pattern, we've been talking about Bitcoin potentially rallying all the way up to $10,000, and we've been waiting to see just how strong Bitcoin is. Well, guys, I think we finally have our answer. Bitcoin is extremely strong. In yesterday's video, Bitcoin was trading down here around $8,800. And overnight, Bitcoin rallied all the way to $9,400. Blasted straight through this zone of resistance, which I said was going to be our last stop before $10,000. And it looks like we may be trading at $10,000 relatively soon. We're just going to need to give it a couple days for Bitcoin to actually manage to reach up there. Guys, this is a very big development for Bitcoin. It's very bullish for Bitcoin. Bitcoin has set a new yearly high. A lot of great things happening in the cryptocurrency market right now, guys. And I want to dive into all of them. So we're going to be discussing all of this and more in today's video, specifically where Bitcoin is going, if if it'll reject to $10,000 and things related to that. So guys, like I said, we have a whole lot to cover in today's video, but before we get right on into it, I do want to remind you that we are still running that sale on the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. We've had a ton of people join lately. If you guys want to learn how to do technical analysis and be able to predict movements like this so that you can then trade movements like this and prepare yourself for the coming Bitcoin bull market, the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy is the place to do it. There's a 40% off coupon code in the description down below, June 2019. Click the link, sign on up, and join us and get ready for the bull market, guys. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. It. Well, guys, one of the first things that I want to do here is compare the market that we're looking at right now on this hourly chart for the last five to six days or so to everything that we've seen recently for Bitcoin, because we haven't seen a movement like this in quite some time. Bitcoin has rallied 24% on the extremes in the last seven days, less than seven days, even about six and a half. Bitcoin has rallied 24%. Now that's big even for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is well known for its gargantuan rallies that seemingly just come out of nowhere, albeit, but at the same time, Considering we've only been in a bull market for the last like two and a half months or so, 38 days, not even two months actually, and Bitcoin's rallied 55 to 60 percent, that's a major deal. Bitcoin rallying this far is a very big deal, and it's something that I don't want to understate. And also, guys, I want to remind you that this movement that we've seen right here is something that we haven't seen in a while. We didn't see a movement like this when we broke out of this consolidation pattern. We have to go all the way back to over here to see a movement like this where Bitcoin did inevitably rally 65 percent. Definitely a bigger movement, but considering Considering Bitcoin is further away from zero, the movements get a little smaller in the percentage gains as we continue moving to the upside. This is a very big move and shows that the Bitcoin bulls have a ton of strength. And also, one thing I want to point out is that a lot of that strength seemingly has just built here over the last week or so because Bitcoin was a lot more bearish back over here in these times right here because Bitcoin kept coming down and crashing and not really getting very large bounces. We'd come down correct, have a little bit of a, cor uh, have a, little bit of a bounce, correct, have a little bit of a bounce, correct, have a little bit of a bounce. And then this right here was our key point right here, because I remember talking about this in one of the videos, Bitcoin didn't come down and test this uptrend of support this time. We didn't have to go all the way down to it. And that's one of the key things that you can find in charts is that when the market doesn't need to test the same level of support that it was before, and it can get support above that level of support, that's typically the just the just that's typically uh, right after the rocket launches and it just gets off the ground. That's what you're looking at when something like that happens. That's something we talk about in the convergence of support and resistance, excuse me, gauging the strength of the support and resistance in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy is this concept right here. And the reason we talk about it is because it's normally one of those early warning signs that Bitcoin is about to stop testing support and is about to start going to the upside or in the in the uh, opposite direction if we can't even get up to the resistance level and we're testing it and testing it and testing it and then we can't even get up to it and it's probably going to be bearish. That works in both directions. But this was very bullish for Bitcoin and soon thereafter Bitcoin started breaking bullish out of this symmetrical triangle pattern we were looking at and continued breaking bullish and bullish and bullish. So what does all this mean for Bitcoin? Well, guys, let me show you something that is very telling. That would be the weekly chart on Bitcoin because this looks absolutely hilarious, guys. Check out this weekly chart. We're going to go to the Bitfinex chart so we have a clean chart here. Bitcoin was looking like it was getting more and more bearish. This candlestick was bullish. Then this one was a little bit more bearish. This one was more bearish. This one was obviously more bearish. But then just out of nowhere, over the last seven days or so, Bitcoin has become extremely bullish, which is why I was more bearish seven to 10 days ago was because the market was showing a lot more bearish signs. But over these last couple of days, I think we've been pretty good at, det at predicting this move and Bitcoin has managed to rally substantially. We opened this weekly candlestick at $7,500 and we're probably going to close this weekly candlestick somewhere around $9,250 or so. Major move on Bitcoin. And I also want to point something else out. 
not only has Bitcoin shifted from bearish to bullish extremely quickly, it has also created what is known as an engulfing bullish candlestick pattern. This is what you would call a bullish engulfing candle uh, candlestick pattern. It's kind of a complicated uh, mouthful of a term, but that's what it is because what we see here is we see a red candlestick and then the next candlestick is a green candlestick, which is even larger on the body than the red one is. Now, if this were in stocks, normally the bullish candlestick would be larger in both directions. It'd have a, a larger lower body and a larger upper body. But since we're in crypto markets, it normally only has a larger upper body in this case. And since Bitcoin has done that, that is ridiculously bullish. In fact, guys, you normally see these kind of patterns, these bullish engulfing, uh, bullish engulfing candlestick patterns at the bottom of trends. Let me show you an example. A great example would be right over here. This is what is known as a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. And Bitcoin used it to go bullish. You see these all the time, guys. You don't really see a whole lot of them on the weekly chart, but I can show you a couple of them being reversal patterns. Back over here in the history of Bitcoin, we saw one right here. We saw one right Right here and we saw one right here all three of those are bullish engulfing candlestick patterns and normally you saw and normally you see those towards the bottom of a trend which is a trend reversal which is why these are normally indicated indicative of trend reversals but in this case since we're not at the bottom of a trend we're at the top of a trend this is actually indicative of a long-term continuation of the trend because Bitcoin has gone so bullish here over these last couple of days everything that we were talking about about weekly uh, weekly MACD and weekly stochastic RSI has gotten put off again as we'll be able to see when the next candlestick opens on the weekly chart this stochastic RSI is probably gonna start curving back up here or at least trading sideways for a little while we're probably going to see that stochastic RSI isn't going to crash just like it may have if we hadn't have seen this bullish uh, this bullish breakout. We really saw that Bitcoin started moving exactly when it needed to because if Bitcoin had just one more week of bearishness, we'd probably be trading around $6,000 a week or two from now. But because Bitcoin was able to regain its bullishness and because Bitcoin was able to be bearish for long enough that the bears were able to regain their strength, the Bitcoin bulls have managed to come back into the market and actually regain their dominance of the market and continue pushing the market to new highs. So guys, this is why it's very important that you look at multiple different time frames. I have people in the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy email me all the time, and I forget who it was, and I wouldn't say their name even if I did remember, but someone was talking to me about how um, they were always looking at the wrong time frames. Like they'd be looking at the hourly chart when they actually need to be looking at the four hourly chart, or they're looking at the daily chart when they actually need to be looking at the four hourly chart, or the daily chart when they need to be looking at the weekly chart. And I talked to them and I explained to them that some of the some of the signals that they were looking for were not on the chart that they were looking at. And instead of oh, I'm looking at the wrong chart. I need to be looking at this chart. It's not that. You need to be looking at every chart. There's a reason why I cover everything from the hourly chart to the weekly chart here in these videos because it's important that you guys get signals on the hourly chart, the weekly chart, the daily chart, and even on these shorter term charts. But since I only upload one video a day, they're not as relevant to this kind of content. This is important right here. This is very important. This bullish engulfing candlestick could call for another two to three weeks of bullishness for Bitcoin. And that means that Bitcoin could actually end up going above $10,000. We'll see what happens. But because Bitcoin Bitcoin has seen even more bullishness than I think any of us expected. That probably does indicate that Bitcoin is going to at least $10,000 or even higher. So let's go ahead and talk about what happens when Bitcoin gets there, because I think we can all agree that $10,000 is going to be a major level of resistance. Well, one of the first things I want to point out is that $6,000 was a major level of resistance as well. And guys, we didn't see Bitcoin stop for gas at $6,000 like I think we're going to at $10,000. Bitcoin rallied straight to $6,000, broke straight through it. That was one of the most important levels of resistance in the history of Bitcoin technical analysis. That was a huge level of resistance. And because the bulls were very strong, the bulls broke straight through it. The bulls did not stop. The bulls tested it as resistance for like a day when we tested it as support during the bull market for like a year, which by the way is a testament to how strong the bulls are even in a bear market. But the point I'm trying to make here is that even though I think Bitcoin will, instead of just breaking straight through $10,000, actually test it a little bit, there's a good chance that Bitcoin tests it for like a day or two and then breaks straight through it and continues straight to the moon, guys. There's a decent chance that Bitcoin rejects here. But based on the way Bitcoin has been moving here over these last couple of days, I'm starting to get more and more interested in the idea of Bitcoin actually going to $10,000 testing it for a day or two, and then actually breaking it and continuing to the upside, guys. Bitcoin is looking ridiculously bullish right now. We haven't seen this kind of bullishness in a couple of months. And before that, we hadn't seen it since the last bull market. Bitcoin is experiencing major major exuberance. Part of that's coming from fundamentals. We talked about back to a couple of videos ago. We talked about all of the bullish technicals out on the weekly chart and elsewhere. We talked about all of the good things that are happening to Bitcoin, all the adoption. We've talked about all those things. People know that a Bitcoin bull market is starting and people know that a Bitcoin bull market is going to be massive, which is one of the reasons why they're buying Bitcoin up in droves. So guys, I do want to point out that it is possible that Bitcoin breaks straight through $10,000. With that said, 
Ten thousand dollars is a great place to take to, to to be taking profits. If you've been buying Bitcoin during this last couple, during these last couple of months and you're looking for places to take a swing trades profit, ten thousand dollars is a great place to do it. I'm not going to tell you to sell there, but if you're looking for places to sell, that would be one of the places that I am looking at. I'm trading Bitcoin right now in a swing trade, and if Bitcoin does go all the way up to ten thousand dollars, I'm going to be selling some of it at ninety nine hundred dollars, and then putting that probably into Tether. Actually, unfortunately, maybe into an altcoin that I think is going to grow, and then buy buying back in if Bitcoin gets above 10K. Because if Bitcoin gets back above 10K, you can buy that Bitcoin right back at $10,150 or so and then continue on the rally. You only missed out on 1% of the gains, but you also protected yourself in case Bitcoin did inevitably or uh, in fact get resistance at $10,000. But guys, let's go ahead and talk about something else because this is where it starts to get gnarly. What happens if Bitcoin does break through $10,000? Where does Bitcoin go? Well, guys, let me bring up the VPVR, one of my favorite technical indicators that I'm going to start using a lot more on this channel. If you guys take a look here at the VPVR, what we're going to find, if we go ahead and put it and set it up correctly with how much room we have, Bitcoin doesn't have a whole lot of resistance above $10,000. Look at all this. Look at how short these candlesticks are. If you know how VPVR works, like I said, there's a video going to be coming to that soon. I'm actually moving into a new house tomorrow, which is why I have been delaying on that video, but that will be coming into uh, the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy of VPVR video in the future. I'm not exactly sure when, because like I said, I got a bunch of moving to do. I'll update you guys on that when the day comes, which is uh, tomorrow. But either way, the VPVR is a very powerful technical indicator, and I really, really like it. I started using it a lot more lately, and one of the things that it does, and well, the main thing that it does, it shows you where all the trading is, so that you can then understand where all the where all the uh, where all the resistance is. And as you guys can see, Bitcoin was not up above ten thousand dollars for very long, only the span of two or three months. But Bitcoin was down here in this zone between six and ten thousand dollars for a very long time, which is why the VPVR is showing so much more resistance here. Well, guys, guess what? We've already gotten through. We've already gotten through this zone. We haven't gotten through this one. But which one's weaker? This one's weaker. So what we're saying here is that Bitcoin has already gotten through the worst of it. And if Bitcoin does actually break through $10,000, guys, I'm, I'm struggling to find levels of resistance. One is obviously going to be $11,700 because that was the top of this rally over here. But after that, guys, it's pretty much like $17,000 and $20,000 and some Fibonacci levels that I'm not going to get into right now. There's not a whole lot of resistance above $10,000. So if and only if $10,000 is breached and Bitcoin does manage to get through it, and because of the way it's looking here on this daily chart, it looks like it's going to. If Bitcoin does get through $10,000, there's not much resistance over here, guys. Look at how short the VPVR is right here. Look at this. It's very, very short compared to what we've already gotten through. We've already gotten through all this. Bitcoin has already gone through all of that. So if Bitcoin gets above 10 k it's going to be very bullish. If we get above 10 k it's probably going to be within six to, six to eight months before we actually get to and beyond $20,000 again. And guys, it's partially because of the fact that I think Bitcoin is going to be so bullish here over these next couple of weeks that I've been promoting the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy here over these last couple of months. The reason for that is because I want you guys to join the course if you haven't already and start learning how to do technical analysis and start understanding how these markets move. Start being able to profitably trade these markets. Understand where you want to buy and sell Bitcoin. You need to know what you're doing in these markets because as I've just laid out in this entire video, Bitcoin is about to experience a lot of bullishness. We already have, and if you haven't traded this, well, I mean, you can't trade the past, but the future is still bright for Bitcoin. There's a lot of bullish movement to be had. So if you guys want to make the most out of these movements, then I implore you to start learning about the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. Be my guest if you want to spend the next six months to a year learning all of the things that are in this course on your own. If you want to do that, then that is entirely your prerogative. There's nothing wrong with investing time rather than money in your education. That's perfectly fine. I think that everybody, instead of spending $40,000 a year at college, could instead spend four or five thousand hours a year reading books and learn just as much or more but at the same time when you go to college or when you go to a curriculum and a course like this then you have a structured way to be delivered the information you don't have to go out and find out what you don't know and then learn about what you don't know with information that you don't have let me point something out to you guys the rally that we've experienced here in the last couple of days that's got us all so excited is only about a 24 percent rally if we zoom out and we look at the rally that got us back up above six thousand dollars from this point right here not even the bottom that was a 65 percent rally even though they're about the same height both of them are three to four thousand dollars two three four thousand dollars in height there's a very interesting phenomenon that happens as you continue getting further away from zero on a chart the percentage gains go down the rat that's what the log charts were let me just show you on the log chart the rally from three thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars is actually vastly more profitable than the rally from ten thousand dollars to twenty thousand dollars and the reason for that is because ten thousand to twenty thousand dollars is just a double but three thousand three hundred thirty three dollars to ten thousand dollars is a triple 
triple. So when the bull market starts, you actually make less money as the bull market goes on. That's why you make the most money when the bull market is in its infancy. The vast majority of the, of the money that's going to be made this year in this bull market has actually already been made. There's a lot of money to still be made and to, to be made and there's a lot of uh, and there's a lot of potential but I want you guys to understand that every day you delay in your education on this cryptocurrency market the longer you are going to be missing out on gains in the Bitcoin market there's only so much that Bitcoin can do it's not gonna rally another 500% in the next two weeks like it used to you have to be able to make the most of the gains that we do have which is why I do implore you to invest in your education guys if you're interested in the cryptocurrency technical analysis Academy and you want to learn everything that has to do with technical analysis Join the, uh, join the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. Link's in the description. Use the coupon code JUNE2019 to get $40 off at checkout, and I would enjoy seeing you guys over there. Like I said, I think we've had around 600 people join the course. If I remember, I know I've forgotten yesterday's video, but if I remember in this video, I'll go ahead and flash a, a screenshot of that up on screen. Should be a little under 500, maybe a little over. I don't remember the exact number. We've had a ton of people go through the course, and I'm very, very proud of the course that we put together, and I'm very proud of the results that people have had. People email me and message me all the time, tell me how much more success they have now that they actually understand these markets. If I wanted to, guys, I could spend the next three hours editing this video and throw up a hundred different testimonials. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bore you and I really don't feel like sitting in Premiere Pro for that long, but I could do that if I wanted to. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Tell me in the comment section down below what positions you're in. Are you buying Bitcoin and holding Bitcoin to $10,000? That's probably part of the reason that this rally is being exacerbated so much is people are buying and holding Bitcoin and continuing to buy Bitcoin up towards the top because everybody sees $10,000 as the top of this rally. So people are trying to profit on the three to four, five percent difference between that. And as we can see, Bitcoin's actually moving right now, which is why I say that we need to get involved in the market and start making the money while we can. Guys, tell me what your positions are. Are you going to be shorting at 10000 Are you going to be buying just above 10000 I'd love to hear your opinions on the market in the comment section down below. By the way, guys, before we wrap the video up, I haven't plugged the like button yet. I need you guys to go down and absolutely destroy the like button. I haven't seen the like button in the infirmary in a little while. I have a friend who's in the medical field, and they tell me that, they haven't, that the like button hasn't been in the ER in a while. She's wondering where it went. I think we need to get that fixed, guys. Go ahead, destroy that like button. But without much further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap the video up. That's the wrong phrase. Anyway, guys, I do want to thank each and every single one of you for watching my rambling as always, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.